JT5 here with another guide video for you. We are doing a White Lotus Tier 5 story mission called Extermination. This is where we need to acquire a nuclear fuel rod, C4, and electrical components. Once you have them, go to any dead drop so that they would be combined to become a radioactive charge. Plant the charge in the radiation zone and defend it until detonation. In getting a nuclear fuel rod, you just need to do a search nuclear material contract. Don't have to finish it, just acquire the fuel rod and cancel it if you want. For C4, you can bring it in to make things easier from your loadout and you can find electrical components in computers. There is no need to rush the mission. Have everything prepared if you are solo or in a team. Have an abundance of plates, self-revives, and radiation blockers. Because once you have crafted the charge in a dead drop, you will take damage. This will slowly take away your armor and health, and even if you drop the charge, it will still continue to tick away. Now this is where radiation blockers are useful. Using a radiation blocker can stop the damage over time that you are experiencing while carrying the charge and lets you move freely towards the radiation zone. So unlike me, try to find the vehicle to move faster towards the radiation zone if you don't have enough radiation blockers in your backpack. Once you are in the zone, a prompt will appear to plant the radioactive charge when you are near the middle of the zone. So find a spot where you can funnel the AI and would have enough cover. When it's planted, a progress bar would appear for arming the bomb. Just make sure that there is something in between you and the bomb to be safe. At this point, it's a pretty straightforward defend the area type of pace. Being solo will make this difficult, but not impossible. Once the bar is filled, the bomb will detonate, and that will be mission complete. I hope this helps. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.